Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today we have a GIMP tutorial for you. Um, today we're going to be looking at the new one-channel design from YouTube. So what you're going to want to do is head over to this website. The link is in the description, so please go ahead and check that out. Um, what this is is just a template download, so just click the download link on screen and that will go straight to your documents okay so I will just open up my documents and head over to the download section and um, just up here and then I will go to the PSE file um, and right click and then click edit in with GIMP which is just at the top of the list so this will just open up in GIMP um, and then you'll be able to start editing your new YouTube banner now this banner will appear on all devices so phones, tablets, computers and TVs now this template basically just shows you the different sizes because the template does show, it kind of shows different parts of the picture you upload in the sizes so you have the TV part which goes like around the full screen and then you just have this little banner here so I'm just going to be showing you a similar design to what you can see on my channel with the gradient background the main name and then um, just the stuff my, um, I do in my channel down at the bottom here um, so uh, basically yep um, that is what I'm going to be showing you um, I will also put in the name of the channel and the subscribe part uh, at the bottom of the screen which um, I will just show you now as I open up GIMP so here the um, yellow bit basically the full picture is what the TV sees the red part um, in the middle is just the minimum desktop slash mobile slash tablet the pink part is just the main tablet and the green bit is the maximum you can see on a desktop computer okay so first what I'm going to do is go up to layers and click new layer and um, so this will just open up a layer at the site um, uh, in that little window I have open at the side and just make sure that is above all the rest of the layers um, so what I'm going to do is change the color to an orangey color this is the secondary color I'm keeping the primary color at black so I will just select that by clicking OK um, then I am going to go over and select the gradient tool and I'll select somewhere up in the top left corner and drag down to right at the bottom right corner and you'll see it gives you this nice black to orange kind of gradient look to the picture so next what I'm going to do since you probably um, don't really need to do more editing on the background since this is just a simple beginners tutorial is hide that layer by clicking the eyeball next to it now I'm going to um, go over the TV kind of part of the uh, tutorial um, so this is just designing the bit that you can see on the TV so I've gone over and selected the text bit which is just clicking on the A in uh, the left hand side of the screen and I'm going to type in my channel name so once I have done that I will select it and then I will make it a lot bigger so you can actually see it so there you have pixel fiend tech and I will change the font to infected if you would like to see any of these fonts just head over to dafont.com and um, that's where I got my font which I use in a lot of my channel things so I think I might actually just make this slightly bigger because um, you're not really getting to see well I just think it could fill more of that yellow space um, in the picture so just bear with me while I try to select this I'll just drag it out to the side and there we go so I'll just click the upward arrow um, until it kinda looks right so that's too big so I'll just take it down a bit if I can <laughs> keep clicking the wrong things here 
Okay, so that seems to be the right kind of size that I'm wanting. I'll just move that over so it's more central in the yellow zone. So next, at the bottom part, the other yellow bit, which it will also only be viewed on TV versions of YouTube, I will type in subscribe, just so you know what you should be doing. So, uh, please, by the way, if you're watching this video and you enjoy it, just subscribe so you can see all my other content. I'm looking to hopefully do more of these kind of videos in the future, possibly speed art, things like that. So for this one, I'm just going to keep the same font, um, and yet again, I will make it bigger and try and center it within the yellow bit. Um, so that is that part basically finished, um, so you can kind of see what, uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see the Pixel Fiend Tech, you can't quite see the start of the P there, but that doesn't really matter too much because I will feature that in the red bit so i'll just hide that layer again i will by the way be showing that at the end but um just for now for editing purposes i will do that so as you can see here um on the actual youtube screen your profile picture is in the top left corner like i just showed you there which means you cannot design anything in the top left of the red part because it will be hidden behind that so i'm just going to put um the initials of my channel name in the center here because just because um just so you can kind of see the name of my channel when you're viewing it on a computer mobile phone or tablet so um i will just again put it at the right size and i will be using yet again the infected font which is probably just it's kind of my channel font that i use for most things I had that in my old background and in my logos, things like that. So now that's done, I'm going to put in text at the bottom. Now this is going to be, um, um, I would recommend stuff that you do in your channel. So for example, I believe mine's are tutorials, reviews and unboxings or something like that. On this one I'm just going to pretend I'm a gaming channel because the majority of channels are. So um, I'm going to put MW3. BO2 and Halo, um, of course that's Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 and Halo. So um, I'm just doing this for the purposes of this tutorial, I do not actually make videos on games really at the moment. Um, this one though I'm going to pick a different font, um, yet again from dafont.com, um, please check them out, all the fonts are free. It's, um, well, doesn't really benefit me but I just think it's a good resource to have um so I th believe it's called msg menu or something like that I'll just type in m and scroll through see if I can find it uh, I think I might have gone past it I'll just scroll up again uh, yep there we have it so I will select that and then um, I've put lines between the words, so basically the button next to the shift key, if you hold shift and press that button then it just comes up with a line, which I just like putting that between them. So I'll just play about with the sizes, move it over so it's kind of central, right on the bottom of the red line. Um, so that's a bit far over to the left, I'll just move it in a bit and then drag the top portion down so it's sitting on the line. So there you just kind of have the basic background part. Um, so you can see you have the top bottom parts which will be seen on TVs, then the middle bit. I've left the tablet and maximum computer bits, uh, I've left them blank because you don't really need much in those parts because the red part remember is available on all so devices that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel also head over to facebook and twitter my names are on screen and i'll also put links down in the description if you've got any questions you would like to ask please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen thanks for watching see you